Hey guys, it's Ashley, the frugal model. I wanted to do another video post or vlog. Vlog is such a weird word, but I'm going to do a vlog um, about something I wrote about already on my blog, www.thefrugalmodel.com. And it's one that's really important and something that I really live by, and it's mastering the art of complaining. Um, not talking about bitching with your boyfriend or anything like that. I'm talking about complaining when you pay for a service or a product and it's not given to you the way you expect it. And unfortunately, a lot of people just kind of let it go. They, you know, they get upset. They say, oh, I just will never use them again or, you know, and, and just deal with it. But honestly, all it usually takes is a quick email or a quick phone call and companies want to have satisfied customers. So they're going to do things to, you know, make you happy. One example that I like to use because I think it's great is I flew recently on American Airlines and it was a 6 a.m. flight and as you know everyone is dead to the world and wants to sleep on this flight. I get into my seat, push the recline button, the seat does not recline. Um, of course the gentleman in front of me had his head in my lap, his seat worked perfectly and I noted to the flight attendant, listen, please tell them, write down my seat number, let them know that this is what's happening. Slept on my tray, wasn't fun. But I emailed American as soon as I got off the plane and just a little blurb from what I wrote, I explained to them the situation. At the end of explaining it and giving them my seat number, I said, please let me know what will be done to rectify this unpleasant experience. I'm a very loyal customer and I gave them my American Airlines Advantage number. If you don't have one, just tell them you're a loyal customer. And I hope that something can be done to make up for the lack of comfort that I paid for and that I deserved. The very next day, American emailed me back saying, we're so sorry, you had such a bad experience, we totally understand, and to show you how sorry we are, we're going to go ahead and give you 2,000 extra reward miles. It's, you know, nothing crazy, but, you know, it was something, it took me five minutes to write it, and 2,000 reward miles, it wasn't that bad. Just to let you know one more thing um, that I went through that's not just big airlines and big companies that will do things to help you out. It's also smaller companies. If they screw up, you know, you got to let them know. I received a bouquet of roses from this like fancy smanchy florist and the very next day they died. I swear to God, I had nothing to do with killing these roses. I killed every plant, but I, I did nothing wrong. These flowers just died. So I emailed them the very next day and said, listen, I know that you guys are expensive. This My arrangements are usually beautiful. Here's a picture of what they look like the next day. Please let me know if there's anything that can be done because I feel awful that so much was spent and I mean I didn't get what was paid for. I mean I didn't pay for it but you know what I mean. So you know what the very next day they emailed me said please leave the flowers in your lobby and we'll give you a new one. They sent me a brand new set of roses and and they gave me a terrarium, which is this. It's cactuses. There used to be another cactus in there, but I killed it. I don't know. I'm going to have to start reading blogs about keeping plants alive. I, I killed a cactus. I mean, who does that? So, back to the topic. Complain. If something doesn't come the way that you expected it, if you know that the customer service isn't being given to you, just take the time, find the email address of customer service, and let them know what's going on. Note when you're a loyal customer. Like, note that you've like paid for things or you know that you usually use this service and you really want to be able to keep using their service or using you know their product so even even when it comes to going out to dinner like if you get a meal that doesn't taste good just speak up and say something you know you shouldn't have to pay for things that aren't what you were expecting and uh, and you can definitely end up saving some money that way don't waste your money it's yours and uh, you deserve to have the best customer service experiences